Oh, hello there. Hi, I'm TV. Welcome to my crib. Come on in. Welcome to the Shamble Suite. That's my Wi-Fi name. If you guys are new here, I've lived in an under 400 square foot apartment for the last year since I moved to Toronto. A lot happened last year, very thankful for it. I don't think it is good for your mental health to live in a box, literally a box, guys. Like, I would have my bed here, and I had a little table there that I worked at and ate at, and then a little chair that I go and watch on my iPad, and I didn't leave that square foot, so it was a struggle. <laughs> but now, we are on a glow up! amazing people, my subscribers. I'm able to afford a little bit more space in downtown Toronto, so I wanna thank you guys. I just moved in, so there's gonna be a lot of missing things that you should probably have in an apartment. I'm gonna actually probably change much in the next few months, but I thought I'd take you guys with me to my new studio, because this is where I film, work, eat, so come on, come on. This is my door, sturdy. Good start. Down here, shoes. This is pretty much like all the storage I had. I'm not kidding, this is the only clothes storage I was given in my old apartment. Now it just holds one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nine coats. It sounds excessive because you're like, Kelty, you have a capsule wardrobe. No, you need nine coats because we have 12 seasons in Canada. You think it's just snow, but no, we have them all. There was a mud room, entryway. Guys, this is what sold me on this apartment. The reason I wanted this kitchen is it's set up like a cooking show. We've got the counter down here. This is where I will cook with the cooking with Kelty. It's beautiful, just, oh, it's so nice, guys. Now, here's the best part about it, the storage. There's not much storage in the rest of it. Toronto is very much like New York, if you're not from Canada. If storage is hard to come by, and look at all these cabinets, guys. We got one here, which is just for my coffee cups, pretty much, and the little shot glasses because tequila. I've got more than one plate now, guys. For the last year, I only had one plate and would just continuously watch it. But I went to Ikea and got myself like eight. And I'm actually using my dishwasher. The most mandatory station of any kitchen. My Nespresso is I love you. I love you so much. And it's soda strain. I drink too much carbonated beverages. I did the math. The amount of carbonated beverages I drink in a day pretty much paid for itself within like three weeks. So we just, we, we got that bad boy. This is what dreams are made of. Nespresso pod galore. Blended in fancy tequila, fancy olive oil, fancy salt. That is all you need. And we were talking about how there was limited storage in uh, Toronto, and I only have so many cooking appliances, so I actually have a lot of extra space down here in the kitchen. So this is how you get creative. First, this one is gonna be, this is embarrassing. <laughs> My mother would be so proud. I won't show you the rest of these are pretty boring, but I will show this one as an example of how you get creative here in Toronto. All oh, my beauty products. <laughs> these are mostly ones brands send me or just kind of extra because I tend to buy things in Alberta when it's less tax and then stock up but have them saved because I only use limited products. So I'm gonna put you away. Here's my kitchen. Now we're gonna go to the bathroom. Hi Kelty, look, you've got a bigger mirror. I'm proud of you. Sink. Check out my skincare routine video. Shower, blue and white is my aesthetic with a little bit of gold. So, you know, you'll see the blue and white, you'll see gold, but I have next to no art, so yeah. Bath mat, I bought this from Ikea, like $10, and I feel organized. In my mind, I visualize this being like, if I was one of those people that take crystals and stuff, I put that on there. I got a washing machine that does not destroy my clothes, and that's so nice. And we use Lulu bags when we go grocery shopping because save the plastic bags. So I have an excessive amount. That's pretty much that closet. luxury guys okay maybe not but if you saw my old place I'm sorry my feet are probably so filthy I had like an armchair in the last place and a couch I bought for super cheap on Wayfair this was literally so uncomfortable I couldn't sit on it so I yeah it just sat there until I sold it but guys ah, 
This is fabulous. This is my Ikea luxury table. $15 maple pumpkin candle from HomeSense. We got my media center. Here's a little tip. Whenever you move into a new place, when you go and view it, I really liked how the girl decorated it. So I got her number from the realtor, landlord, and was like, can I have the number of the tenant before me? And asked if she was selling anything and I'd buy it off her. So there's a way to save yourself a bunch of effort and you can also buy used with sustainability. So there's a hack. So like this, yeah, it's just a basic Ikea one. Did I have to build it? No. Did I have to move it? No. But then here's when the sadness came. I have no books to fill it. One book. I hold one of my cameras here. Make the cameras go in. My silver play button. This place is burning down. That's one of three things I grabbed. And the TV. I also bought the TV off the girl for a great price. My roommate, you guys have seen him multiple times. He's very glad to have this new spot. Here's where a lamp should go. And my mother has been like, Kelsey, why don't you have a lamp? I was like, ah, I'll get one. No, I won't. funny and all this but this this right here this this means so much to me you have no idea I have a wall in my apartment I've lived in a bachelor for a long time and especially my last bachelor was small guys there's a wall to my bedroom where the magic definitely has not happened same bed oh but it's in a bedroom guys this is the dresser. Kelty, the dresser's left open. Nope, it's broken. It's not broken, I built it wrong. <laughs> and these are pretty much, for the most part, kind of empty. Just like the socks, underwear, that kind of stuff. Because most of my stuff is in. Guys, I have one in a closet. Like a closet with a door in legit like three or four years. We're gonna have a moment. <gasps> it looks so bad from this angle. I've worked very hard. From this, if you guys know, you can follow my other videos. I do have something called the capsule wardrobe. I know it seems like a lot. This is like two weeks of athletic apparel. And then it goes in there, wash it, bam, it's like a month. And I wear it all. That's the point of the capsule wardrobe. It's pretty much everything gets worn every single month, in my opinion. Then we go to this side, and this is like the more businessy, casual. Oh God, look at that color palette. Art. That's a lot of my sweaters and like cardigans, my t-shirts. I've got a couple of more dressier. These are my skirts and dresses. And then these are my jeans. And that's pretty much my entire wardrobe. Oh, here's a little hack. I don't know if it's a hack, but it's what I do. If you don't want to buy like another closet or something and you have luggage, it takes a bunch of space. I put my summer clothes or out of season clothes in my luggage. So this is all like the summery stuff I know I won't wear for a while. So just pack it away. Some people might not like, but that works for me. This in the closet. Oh, it's so nice. Look, it's just like, bam, hidden. Oh, walls. Here's the fun little thing you guys might have seen. I've got like a sunroom. So it's not really an office, but it's kind of an office. It's got like these glass doors. This is all space. This is where you probably see me talk. Yeah, I'll just sit here. I got one of these a while ago, real cheap at HomeSense. And this is just like one of the easiest things to make it seem more luxurious. When you're just like on the computer, it's just nice and soft. Here's my chair. You're gonna be like, wow, Kelty, you're so into fitness that you have a chair for the back to work on your posture. I know. Nope. <laughs> the back. I lean back on a FaceTime call and broke the back off the chair. So now we have a spinny chair without the back. And I was gonna get a new one, but I thought, hey, you know what, this will work on my posture. Selfies. Hi guys. Probably gonna see some of this more often. This is something I also bought off the girl. So got a great price, didn't have to move it because fear of breaking mirrors, probably not good. Here's my new selfie mirror. Great lighting though. And then just the urban jungle. I'm gonna go out on my balcony, see the construction. I got a basketball hoop. Yeah. There we go. There's my little tour. Kind of minimalist, kind of not. 
I'm trying to figure out sustainability, but I know same for me. I've chosen over the last two years, for example, not to buy fast fashion. I have a really tough time buying furniture and art when I move so often because I feel not even just money thrown away, but it's just like in your 20s especially, it's just like a lot of junk. And it's, it's money you could be putting towards your future or just stuff that ends up in landfills. Especially like, I know like Ikea and that. You have to have some furniture to have quality of life. And that's where I'm trying like my last place. I was so bad, like had next to nothing. So I think you have to have enough things for quality of life, but I would just prefer to have less things that are higher quality or spend money in things that I know. Like for example, I travel a lot right now. So having a really good suitcase is beneficial, but having like all these little nicks and knacks and decorations and bar carts and stuff, like they're cool and they really make a house, but not when you move as often. Cause lo and behold, I was like moved around Edmonton, different apartments, moved to Halifax, back to Edmonton, to Halifax, to Edmonton, to Toronto. It's just knowing every year I have to get up and move things. There's just an idea. I know we are constantly bombarded by media and stuff that like you have to have this and this and this, and it's really tough, especially with fashion. But I think it just comes down to what I've learned is like creating a style knowing the things I like to spend money on that like really I enjoy, like for example, the tequila. I know it sounds funny and you're like, Kelty's tequila, but when I go out, I really enjoy I have a couple shots like of really good tequila versus a bunch of cheap stuff. And there's a lot of drinks I don't want, so I'm okay with spending the money on that. And then other things, buying bulk items of some stuff. And so it just really comes down to creating the stuff you're okay with having the cheap versions of. Um, that are maybe sustainable. For example, buying bulk is sustainable, but also spending money on quality items, like have you know a winter jacket that will last me five years. So that's just my personal take. I'm not saying you do that, but I've just noticed in my 20s that's where a big focus was. First, in my first few moves, I was like just trying to have everything and all this, and I spent so much money, wasted money on little trinkets and things like that. And then I just tell myself it's better to save the money now, and then maybe in a couple of years, if I actually buy an apartment or buy a house or whatever, or you know, move in with someone, I or you know what I mean, just have like somewhere I know I'm gonna be for five or 15, 20 in my life, I wanna buy a really good couch and, and spend money there. And that's just kind of my rationale. And also I just wanna take time and thank you guys. I'm not saying like, this is the most amazing partner in the entire world, but it's literally everything I could possibly want in an apartment right now. It's enough space, it's a safe apartment complex, it's pretty, it's open concept, there's beautiful natural light, and it was so mentally hard being in like a 300 square foot apartment for that long. Like I said, it's, I don't think it's really healthy to be trapped for months on end, just on a computer, eating there, sleeping there. I just always felt like this, uh, it's just like a weight. And it's all thanks to you guys and the support on this channel. So thank you, thank you. I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. You guys mean the world to me. The biggest thing when I checked out different apartments was lighting for camera. Cause guys, look at this natural lighting. This is literally, that's what sold me on this place um, over anything, it's just lighting. So it's more enjoyable for you guys. So thank you for tuning in, like always. If you wanna check out some of my other videos, you can check these out, it's here, right here. And thank you for tuning in, have a fabulous day. Go Pandas.